What's going on guys? Here is the tank stand um, that I was talking about in my last video. These are the 10 gallon tanks, um, three tier, just built it, just stained it. What do y'all think? Tanks are able to go on there. We have between eight to nine. I think it's like eight and a half or nine inches of space in between each one. Um, eye level with the top, I can see. So I will have to get a, an actual, um, uh, what's it called? Yeah, a step stool, there you go, for the top to clean it out, but that's no biggie. I can literally fold it up next to it. Um, it's got storage for underneath. Those are two of my RO water jugs. Um, each one's five gallons. Uh, and did scoot over the pond. It's not 100% center yet. I just scooted it over enough just so I can put this in its place. And it is secure to the wall. There's that board back there that's actually bolted. Well, not bolted, but screwed into the wall. And then also another board there that goes across the back, screwed into the wall. So it is sturdy. I've shooken it. Um, it's sturdy enough, more than sturdy enough for those. And like in the thumbnail, you saw I had a bag. I actually ended up getting some garamis for the 36. Sorry about the mess on the tank. Um, got a dwarf blue garami male. And then back there, which is trying to focus on actually, is a female. I actually have two females back there. Um, funny thing is the male is a little, I think he's a, no, he's about the same size. I thought he was a little smaller than the female. I think one female might be bigger than him, but these Tetra are insane. They just don't stop swimming uh, and just get all up in the way. Some Italian valve that I just added. I'm probably gonna change the location because it's kind of in the center, but look how ridiculous it is. It is crazy how long they are right now. Um, do need to clean the glass. That's like my biggest issue with this tank. The snails love messing on the front glass and I always gotta clean with it. Clean it, but the pond is also doing great. I actually did have a uh, flag fish for the 36, but um, I moved it into this eight gallon over here that I had up because he was a little tiny. Um, I know I'm not gonna keep him in here forever, but figured he could help out with some of the algae in here. Um, I have been feeding him every couple of days, but he's a lot more active in here. I think the Tetra were kind of spooking him because he's so tiny. I mean, he's like this small and look at that Tetra, like probably double the size, almost two and a half times the size as the flag fish that I got. So I'm gonna let him grow out in there for a month or so. Then probably throw him in here. Might throw him in the pond. That could work actually. Or I could throw him in the 10 gallon when I set this up, finally, I know it's been sitting like this forever. Um, the plants are going crazy. I just am slacking on the CO2, so I might just fill it up and just say, screw it. Get CO2 when I get CO2. Um, but yeah, that needs to just add water. And I need a filter now, actually. True. So if y'all got any suggestions for a filter for this high-tech tank setup, let me know. I'm thinking just a little hang on the back. That's my favorite, but what do y'all think? Um, also, for these three tanks, I was thinking already of the filtration, either doing an air pump with sponge filters, but I do actually have one of these already. Um, it's from my old 10 gallon setup. It's an Aquion 10 gallon filter. I forgot the numbers for it or what, Aquion, whatever. Um, it's a little dirty. I was thinking about getting three of these or like, well, two more of these, clean this one up. Um, I liked them a lot. These are perfectly good little filters because um, it has the self priming. So if the power ever goes out, it'll auto start back up and not just burn out your filter. Um, flow is really nice to me. Only issue is you can't adjust it. So it was horrible for the beta. I always had to put something in the way to block it. Um, so any other 10 gallon tank without a beta, perfect one. Um, so I might do that or I could do three different ones I also need to talk to my brother, see what he wants to do, because this is kind of his project as well. But maybe three different ones, so we can do a review on each one, see which one's better, which one we like, then go with that one, on, 
and then just give y'all a little review on 10 gallon filters. These are tanks that pretty much anyone should be able to build, make. I need to stain that backboard right there. Oops, slacking on that. You won't see it anyways. Oh, well, we'll put black backgrounds on each one of these. Um, I also have this light. It's a spare light. I think it's perfect for a 10 gallon. Pretty much, I need to flip it, but pretty much goes across the whole tank. These things aren't gonna be high tech. So something simple, cheap, easy like this is perfect. This is an Amazon light. I wanna say it's anywhere between 10 to $15. Perfect little light for those. Um, I know they work because it's also, I have a smaller version on that. I need to do better with that lid, but smaller version on the eight gallon. Um, even with those filters right there that I was ta just talking about, the Aquilons, you can get them from Petco, Amazon. They're like 10 to 15 bucks as well. So. Super cheap build. Um, maybe we'll do one as like simple, easy build just to show how simple you can build a tank for um, or how cheap you can build a tank. Simple setup, but let me know what y'all think. Possibly some grow out tanks slash breeding tanks. But as always guys, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, ding that notification bell, hit that like button, and I'll see y'all on the next one.